Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am doing my second mock draft of the 2023 NFL season. Um, this draft board is very crazy. There's a lot to like about this draft. Good quarterbacks, good receivers, great defensive players. Um, I think this is going to be a really fun draft. But before I get into it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know. Do you guys agree with my picks? Do you disagree? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. But let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with the Detroit Lions, who have the number one overall pick. I think this is a really simple pick. I think they need quarterback. Um, Jared Goff has been okay, but this offense has a lot of talent. And I think they need that franchise quarterback to build their team around. Who's that guy for me? It's Bryce Young. Bryce Young started this season off as my quarterback three. I had him behind CJ Stroud and Will Levis. Um, he has now jumped up to my quarterback one. He's been fantastic. He's been resilient. He got absolutely beat up in that Tennessee game. He just kept getting up, kept making plays. He's going to be a really, really good NFL player. And I really like what I've seen from him. I think he's the best quarterback in this draft. He is a little undersized, which is the knock on his game, but I think that he's going to be a fantastic player playing behind a good offensive line. I think Detroit's a really great situation. They've got a good line. They've got skill positions. If they could improve that defense a little bit, this team could be a very fun team. But um, moving on to the Houston Texans, who have two top five picks as of today. They have the Browns pick, which is currently sitting at number five. I think this is a spot where... I still kind of like Davis Mills. I know that that's probably not the popular opinion. I think they need defense. And I think the big thing they need is interior defensive line help. Their interior defensive line has been awful. They cannot stop the run whatsoever. And that's why I think Jalen Carter is the pick here. Yes, you could take a quarterback and pray that Jalen Carter is going to be on the board there at number five. But I think Jalen Carter... Fits their team so well. I think he's the no-brainer pick. They have not been able to stop the run this year. And I think that makes a ton of sense for them. So Jalen Carter is the number two guy there. At number three, the Panthers draft their franchise quarterback in C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud has great size, great arm talent. Not the most mobile quarterback in the world. I think he's got a very high ceiling. Could be really good. I like Bryce a little bit better. And um, yeah, so, and I just... I'm not sure what happened there. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Moving on to the number four overall pick. What a dream for the Eagles. They're undefeated. They get the Saints pick. They get the best player in the draft in Will Anderson. Absolute no-brainer here. Will Anderson is the best college defensive player I have ever seen. Uh, the reason I didn't have him going higher is because none of these teams really need an edge rush. Now, the Lions could take an edge rush. And take a quarterback at 20. That's in play here. Um, which I think actually would be a really smart move. To pair Will Anderson next to Aiden Hutchinson. Texans could do it. I don't see Carolina doing it. This is a dream scenario. For the Philadelphia Eagles. They get a dominant edge rusher. To pair alongside Jordan Davis. Um, they've got probably one of the top defenses in the league already. And then you add Will Anderson. Yeah. Really great for them. At number... Um, Five. I'm not taking a quarterback here. I don't think Will Levis is going in the top five. I don't think he's a top 10 guy. As much as I love Will Levis, I think he is one of the better quarterbacks in this draft. I don't think he's top five. Um, I think they need a receiver. Desperately need a receiver. Jackson Smith and Jigba is still the number one guy for me. Incredible size and speed strong receiver he's been overshadowed by Marvin Harrison Jr. he's still had a pretty solid year you can make a case for Jordan Addison to go here I wouldn't even be opposed to that Jordan Addison is my favorite receiver in this draft um, but I really like Jackson Smith and Jigba fit in Houston so he is my pick there at number six we have the Seattle Seahawks and I think they're going to go with Brian Brzee um He's a really solid player. I think he's going to be a really nice addition to the inside of this defensive line. Would fit very well with the scheme they run there. I think he would be a nice fit. They've got some edge rushers in last year's draft. Boye Mafe, who I was a big fan of. Now they can sure up the inside of that defensive line. Because I believe Shelby Harris is a free agent after this year. brissie has got a ton of skill. Really good run stopper. Miles um, Murphy's good, but I don't think he stops the run as well. 
I'm taking Brian Brissy. For the Steelers, you could take Kaylee Ringo here. I'm not opposed to that, but I think offensive line is the big thing they need. And I still think Peter Skaronsky is the best offensive lineman in this draft. They need a left tackle that can protect the quarterback. You saw it on th- Sunday night against Miami. They just can't protect Kenny Pickett. Um, and I think that's going to make your quarterback look better if you can protect them. I think this is the best pick, best player on the board for them. Um, I'm taking Peter Skaronsky. For the Jaguars, they could use another wide receiver. Kirk has been solid, but I still think you need that second guy. Jordan Addison, I mentioned, my favorite receiver in this draft. You pair him with Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, they could go offensive line. They need some help at right tackle. They could take a Broderick Jones or a Jalen Duncan or Paris Johnson, but Jordan Addison is too good a talent to pass on here, so I got him going at number eight. At number nine, the Raiders' run defense, or not run defense, but their pass rush and their in the defensive line hasn't been great, which is why I like Miles Murphy here. Pair him with alongside Max Crosby. We thought Chandler Jones was going to be a really big addition to them, and he hasn't been bad, but I really love the idea of pairing Miles Murphy. Now, Miles Murphy, from a little bit of tape study, could improve his run defense. That's something that he is not amazing at so far. I think he could definitely work on that, but I do definitely think that he's a dominant pass rusher. His speed off the edge is undeniable. He gets off the edge super quickly. I think he would be fantastic in this defense. Uh, moving on to number 10, the Atlanta Falcons. And I'm going to take another edge rusher here. And I'm going to take Felix Anudike Uzama. I really like this guy. He's got insane size, great speed as well. But I think he could just, I think he's going to fly up draft boards, especially after the combine. I think he would fit very nicely in this Atlanta defense uh, who needs a dominant edge rusher. Grady Jarrett on the inside is great, but they don't really have that guy who can come off the edge and make a play on the quarterback. I think Felix Anudike Uzama could definitely be that guy. Moving on to number 11, we've got the Miami Dolphins. Now, this is a spot where I thought about going Dijon Robinson. I thought about going with some of these guys, but I think Kaylee Ringo is the pick here, and I'll explain why. Yes, they have Byron Jones. Yes, they have Xavier Howard. Those guys are getting a little bit older. And they've been banged up. They've really been injured this year, and we've seen it. Their secondary has taken a big hit because of the injuries. Kaylee Ringo is far and away the best corner in this class. I think he would work really well in this defense, and I think he's the best player on the board for them. I think that's a no-brainer pick. Moving on to number 12, we've got the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, it's just corners in need, which I definitely could see them going Joey Porter or a Garrett Williams as well down the board, but... I think offensive line is still a big need. They could definitely improve that. And I'm taking Paris Johnson here. Left tackle, right tackle, slide him anywhere. Yeah, he's got some skills he can still work on, but the upside is immense. I think he would fit very well. They need some help on that offensive line to protect Kyler Murray. And I think Paris Johnson gets the job done. At number 13, I've got the New England Patriots selecting Trenton Simpson. Um, I think he is a fantastic talent. Could be a really good player for them. Um, They need some linebackers. They haven't drafted a linebacker in a while. Um, Yeah, Matthew Judon is technically a left outside linebacker, but Trenton Simpson, I think, would be fantastic. Fits the scheme that Belichick runs. I think he is the best linebacker in this draft. Fits their team. That's a no-brainer. For the Bears, I want to go defensive line here. I think Tyree Wilson would be a fantastic pick for this team. I really like him. But I have to go wide receiver, right? I think I have to. I'm taking Quentin Johnston here. He is the third best receiver in this class, hands down, in my opinion. Um, And he's been really solid for TCU, made some big plays. Um, I liked what he could bring to this team. They need a playmaker. Darnell Mooney hasn't gotten involved in this offense. Yeah, they could improve that defensive line a little bit, but I like uh, Quentin Johnston quite a bit here to the Bears. At number 15, we've got the Washington Commanders, who need secondary help. I think Garrett Williams is the second best corner in this class. Now, he does struggle at times against faster receivers. He gets beat down the field a little bit, but I think that's gonna he can improve that. And I think he struggles sometimes in zone, getting lost. Both things that can improve. He's a great man-to-man defender, though, and I think he's going to be a really good NFL player. I've got him going at number 15. At number 16, 
the Packers need a wide receiver. I don't think Keishon Bouti is a number one uh, first round pick receiver right now. He's not been great for LSU. Now you could point to a lot of different things, new coaching, new scheme, all of that stuff. Hasn't been great. I want to even go Jalen Hyatt. He's looked great, but I know that is a massive reach. I'm going to take Josh Downs here. Do I love the player? No. I don't think Josh Downs is the best receiver in this draft. However, they desperately need something on the wide receiver room. I actually think he would work well with Dobbs and Watson as a slot guy. I think he's a really good gadget player who's fast. Reminds me a little bit of Tyree Kill. I'm a little bit undersized. I think he's got a lot of potential. Josh Downs to Green Bay. Do I love it? No, but I think it has to be the pick because they desperately need something for that wide receiver room. The Colts take Will Levis. Don't even think twice about it. You take the best quarterback on the board, whether that's Will Levis or Hendon Hooker, whoever that is, they need a quarterback. Yes, they move to Sam Ellinger. Do I think he's the long-term solution? Absolutely not. I really love Will Levis. He has been my quarterback three Was my quarterback, too, at one point. I think he's got a ton of potential. I like him to the Colts. Um, At number 18, Joey Porter to the Cincinnati Bengals is like a match made in heaven. They need a corner. Chidobe Awuzie, I believe, is an expiring. I believe. I'm not positive on that. I know Eli Apple is not a long-term solution there. Their secondary is really all that's holding them back. Um... I think that Joey Porter is a fantastic addition to this defense. I think he would be awesome for them. At number 19, I am taking Broderick Jones to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's been the big thing with this team. Their offensive line has struggled. And I think if they could improve this offensive line a little bit more, they could be a better team. They've got all the skill positions. They've got everything you need defensively. But they need some offensive line help after losing Alex Kappa, after losing Ted Karras. No, Ted Karras came from New England. Um, after losing Alex Kappa, and I believe they lost Ali Marpet as well. They lost some guys on this offensive line. Broderick Jones would come in and I think be a nice fit for them. At number 20, we have the LA Rams pick that goes to the Lions. And I think the guy here is Andre Carter. Um Andre Carter is a absolute monster. I think he's going to be definitely fly up draft boards here. Um, But they could use another edge rusher to pair alongside Aiden Hutchinson. They could still go corner here. Cam Smith, I absolutely love. He is my favorite corner in this draft. Um, Clark Phillips, I think is good. But I think edge rusher, dominate that line of scrimmage. Get Aiden Hutchinson a running mate. Andre Carter, I think would be awesome for them. At number 21, we've got the LA Chargers, and I'm taking Jalen Duncan. They need offensive line help. After Rashawn Slater went down, he they needed something to on that offensive line. Jalen Duncan has been rising up boards. I've seen people say he's the first offensive tackle in this draft. I don't know if he's that high. Haven't done a ton of study on him, but a good run defender from what or a run blocker from what I hear, and a solid pass blocker. I think he's got a lot of potential and would fit very well. Uh, on the left or right side of this line, probably the right because we know how good Rashawn Slater is when he's healthy. Uh, at number um, 22, I'm taking Cam Smith with no hesitation here for the Ravens. Their secondary is constantly beat up. Uh, Marcus Peters is getting older. You need Marlon Humphrey, a running mate, um, and you could even put him as a slot corner, I think. Cam Smith has a ton of versatility, great size, really good in man. I think he is going to be a really good NFL player. He is my CB1. Um, I'd like, if I was a GM, I would take Cam Smith over Kaylee Ringo. Um, I think he's got a super high ceiling. Um, Moving on to number 23. Geno Smith has been great, but we all know he is not the long-term solution. Been a great story, but I'm taking a guy that has been so good. The Heisman favorite right now, Hendon Hooker. He just doesn't turn the ball over. He has one interception on the entire season. Pair him on this Seattle offense with Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf and Kenneth Walker. Seattle could be a very good team. He is an older quarterback. I understand that, but he is going to be a first round or second round pick. I think quarterbacks always get overdrafted. I think he has done enough. He is my QB four right now, and he has been great Um, for the Tennessee Titans. I really love the idea of pairing Nolan Smith with Jeffrey Simmons. 
Put him on the left side of that line. Jeffrey Simmons on the other side fits super well in this defensive scheme that Mike Vrabel likes to run. I really like his potential. I'm taking uh, Nolan Smith there. Um, And then for the Jets, taking Tyree Wilson here. Tyree Wilson is an absolute monster. He would be so sick in... Uh, on that defensive line next to Quinn and Williams. I think it's a match made in heaven, honestly. Um, Originally, I had Tyree Wilson going to the Bears at 14, and I had them taking Javon Dexter here, a guy that I do really like, but I think Tyree Wilson is a better fit for the Jets, and Quentin Johnston's a better fit for the Bears. So it works out there. At number 26, linebacker is really the only hole in this um, Cowboys defense. Noah Sewell might be the best one in this draft, um, related to Panay Sewell, he's been awesome. Um, and I think just imagining him and Micah Parsons and Trayvon Diggs for the future of this defense is absolutely scary. Noah Sewell is a perfect fit for the Dallas Cowboys defense. And I really like what he could bring. Clark Phillips is the no-brainer pick here for the Minnesota Vikings. Yes, he's a little undersized at the cornerback position, but he is a really good corner. I believe PFF had him ranked the highest corner in this draft. Um, he's been awesome. I think he is going to have a really good combine and going to continue to jump up boards. Um, he's at number 27 on a Vikings team that desperately needs secondary help at number 28 pairing, um, pairing, uh, uh, running mate with George Karloftis. I'm going to take Isaiah Foskey here. I think he makes a lot of sense. A really good edge rusher. Uh, Notre Dame obviously hasn't had the greatest season, but, I really like the idea of pairing him with George Karloftis and Chris Jones in that middle. I like what he could bring. Um, at number 29, we've got the New York football giants. I mean, you could go quarterback here, but I don't really love any of the guys on the board as a first-round talent. I'm going to take Jack Campbell. I know that's a little off the board. He's been really good for Iowa, and I think he is going to be a high second or late first-round pick. I think he's got a lot of skill. I think he would really fit what this Giants defense wants to do um, uh, with Wink Martindale. Uh, I, I like their defensive scheme with Jack Campbell, and I think he's going to end up being a first-round pick. I do. The Bills are taking Bijan Robinson. They need a running back. They haven't had a dominant running back in so long. Bijan Robinson would be absolutely ridiculous with this offense. I thought they were going to get Christian McCaffrey. Unfortunately, that deal fell through. But I love Bijan Robinson. He is far and away the best running back in this draft. I think he fits really nicely. Um, for the Eagles, I'm just going to take the best player available, and that is Antonio Johnson in my eyes. Really good safety, uh, fits a position of need. They could definitely improve that secondary a little bit. Um, yes, they have Chauncey Gardner Johnson, CJ Gardner Johnson, excuse me. He's been great, but I think that we all know he is not the long term solution. I think Antonio Johnson could be a really solid NFL player. And then this is not a pick. Uh, This pick is the Dolphins pick, which, excuse me, is voided. And I'm just going to take the long snapper here. And let's take a look at this draft here. Bryce Young, Jalen Carter, CJ Stroud, Will Anderson. You guys can see this for yourself. Oh my gosh, this site has a ton of ads. Let me know, guys. Do you guys agree with this? Do you disagree? Which picks would you change? Comment that down below. That's going to do it for me in this video, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.